Hey everybody, Masvin and A4. Welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Fire Ash. Last time we ran into the Queen of Sinnoh herself, the champion Cynthia. She's here on vacation and other manners in the Unova region, and she told us to go to Wendella Town because a friend's waiting for us! Finally, the best part of the Unova saga is upon us! <laughs> I can't wait! Can you believe the Sinnoh League champion stays here? What an honor! Slow down, child. Relax. Enjoy the view. Scyther! Bulldor! So it's cool seeing that, you know, a champion's out and about doing other things. That Meloetta. It has to be. What are you talking about? What? Oh, are you who I think you are? It's Ridley. Ah, oh, right, right, So, Meloetta's running away from Team Rocket, and this person was, like, part of the family, or... Something Guardians Guardians of Meloetta when Team Rocket attacked and this guy has been looking for Meloetta ever since and he tried to attack Ash because you're trying to steal Meloetta away from me. He doesn't realize that Ash isn't a part of Team Rocket, you know. So Melo has to step in and be like, Don't hurt them. You're protecting Meloetta? Good, I was worried about what happened to it. Yeah, we're protecting it. <clears throat> Are these people drowning or having fun? I, it's hard to tell. Pokemon World Tournament Junior Cup. Delatown. Okay. Um, we're gonna ignore that guy. <laughs> I'm still ready to watch some battles. It's gonna be amazing. So yeah, that's primarily the reason Cynthia is here. The Pokemon World Tournament is uh, something the Unova region introduced in the games, but I guess they acknowledge it in the anime as well. But I'll bring that up again back in Gen 8 because there's something that annoys me about it. But anyways, I never understood trading. Keep what you earn, not what someone else did. Well, you see, old lady, raising Pokemon is hard if you do it legitimately. So, people just want to get stuff traded to them, alright? And there's version exclusives that uh, Game Freak purposely puts in exclusive games, so if you want to play with all of them, you gotta trade them, right? And not only that, there's Pokemon that trade via evolution, so you kind of have no choice if you want a Steelix or a Scizor, you know, some two really cool Steel-type Pokemon. Got leftovers again? How many leftovers do we have? Not that I'm complaining. I don't live here. I just come when I can. It's a good vacation spot. Oh, Cynthia lived here? Or vacations? I mean, vacation here every... Anyways, um... You're invited to visit Cynthia. You must be a special trainer. Reveal glass? What's reveal glass? Huh? A glass that reveals the truth. There's a mysterious glass that returns the Pokemon. Oh, I know what that is. That's kind of awkward. Cynthia's villa. Can we talk about how like there's all these tiny houses and she has a mansion? That's to be expected. She's the champion. She has her own car. She has a mansion. She has a butler. I hate the sun so much. <laughs> I hate it. You made it, Ash. Your friend is waiting in the back room. I wonder who it could be. There she is. It's Dawn. Let's go. You look tired when you took a rest. Thank you, thank you. Dude. Ash, it's so good to see you again. I've been traveling through Johto and decided to visit Unova for a while. I'm also entering the Pokemon World Tournament Junior Cup. Let's have a practice round to warm us up. Let's do it, Dawn, like good old times. So yeah, Dawn's traveling in Johto in the meantime, but she tagged along with Cynthia. So that's, uh, that's kinda nice. Kinda makes you forget about, uh, it's not always black and white. You know, the world's what's right. No, you, you know what has been trash. But hey, we got Dawn back, and Dawn rules. We love Dawn around here. Alright, so she's got her team as per usual. One of her Pokemon evolves, which is pretty cool. Oh, it's right here! Quilava! We're lava! We're probably dead! Yeah, goodbye, me! That's okay. I didn't want to switch in for a flamethrower anyway, because we're gonna sweep with Krak! But yeah, Dawn rules, so it's like all four of them Ash, Silent, Iris, and Dawn. So that's really cool. They have some episodes where you get into shenanigans 
together, like with the, the special onyx and whatnot. Uh, like I get, like I said, a, a breath of fresh air because you know we left we left Sinnoh behind, right? We left Peak behind, and what did we get? We get this instead, and I I, I wanted to die. <laughs> I wanted to die watching Unova, but this was a treat, right? How, however, not everything is great, though, because remember when I said Iris is my, my least favorite character for Traveling Companions of Ash? Her character sucks so much that she will drag everybody else down with her. What do I mean by that? If you go back and watch Diamond and Pearl, right? Ash and Dawn, they didn't get along at the start. Like, when they first met, they were going along great, but when they had to actually travel and do stuff together... Not the... not the best of friends! Right? Who do I send in for Togekiss, bro? Uh... The Palpatine. And, um... They get along, and Ash and Dawn are, like, really good pals. Like, they've been through a lot together. They're homies. Palpatode's gonna die. We need Pikachu right now. <laughs> we need Pikachu right now. But what I'm getting at is Iris, right? How she calls everybody, what a kid, what a kid. Dawn wouldn't really be little Ash like that. She would tease, sure, every now and then, but she wouldn't be little him. And it got to the point where... where, where Dawn and Iris are becoming buddy buddy. Buneri! I love Buneri. Uh, not for those reasons though. Uh, Ash and or Dawn and Iris, they were getting too buddy buddy, and Iris is literally always calling Silent and especially Ash like, "Oh, what a kid! What a kid!" and all of that, right? So you even had Dawn calling Ash a kid, bro. Like, I that's not her. Just. This Iris just ruins everything! This Pachirus won't kill me because of Sweet Kiss and Super Fang and <laughs> Discharge Spark. I'm, I'm living. Unless I kill myself via confusion! Yes. So I really did hate that aspect of uh, Dawn. But uh, that would have happened if Iris didn't exist. That's all I'm going to say. But aside from that, again, it was nice seeing Cynthia again. Uh, just as strong as ever. Seeing uh, all of Dawn's Pokemon back is great. Um, it, it's just, it's just, it's a fun. I forgot. I should have let Croc Rock evolve. Mother Trucker. Uh, Croc Rock evolves during this mini arc. Um, I'll give it a rare candy or something. I don't know. I'll do it right now. But yeah, this mini arc's cool. We get to see Cynthia again. Uh, something else that pissed me off, though, about this arc is, uh, you know, Iris, she would know about Cynthia, right? A lot of people would know about Cynthia. She's a Sinnoh champion. But, um, what's specific about Cynthia is that her, her number one partner is a dragon type, so Iris looks up to her in that regard. So she wanted to have a battle with Cynthia, but she was very nervous to, to ask it, but she eventually did, and... She had a, a battle with the champion. Iris versus Cynthia. Axew versus Garchomp. You know that Garchomp that like murked so many people? You guys remember Flint? Remember Flint guys? That that trainer who's that Elite Four member who's Omega Strong but couldn't stand up to Cynthia's Garchomp? The second Cynthia's Garchomp touched Axew, it should have been off the planet. It should not have survived. But it, it lives a Draco Meteor and a Dragon Rush for some reason. Because I, I guess the plot demanded it. Because Iris needs, like, some sort of movement for her Dragon Master character. Ugh. Oh. Ugh. Oh. <laughs> Just see it. Like, Axie wasn't doing anything to that Garchomp. And then it hit it with Giga Impact. It's like, oh, you are Giga Impact! Axie! That Garchomp should have laughed. That Giga Impact should have tickled it at the very best. Done nothing to it, but whatever. Whatever, 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 whatever. Whatever. Dawn is back. The episodes that she's in are great. Like with the uh, Detective episode and the Shiny Onyx. 
There's an episode where uh, a rogue Dragonite's going berserk, but we'll we'll talk about that once you get to the, the Junior Cup. Oh, don't worry about that. But yeah, the Junior Cup is here. Uh, the Unival League hasn't been officially decided where it's going to be yet. So everybody's just training, having a good time. Everybody's fighting Don. Coordinator, Connoisseur, Dragon Master, Pokemon Master, all together. Plus Meloetta! Anyways, it is time to go to the Junior Cup. I don't think there's anything else we need to do. I'm not sure if this works. Prism Scale. Uh, thanks. Prism Scale involves a Feebas, I think. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Alright. Uh, I'm gonna double check something, so I'll be right back. Alright, we are back. I just had to make some battle preparations. But yes, the Junior Cup is, once again, another tournament arc. And everybody's favorites are here! The rivals are back! Uh, Trip's here, and Trip is dead set on winning, because funny enough, uh, he got upset at the Battle Club to Silent. And then he got upset again by Bianca at the Club Explosion. And now he wants revenge! He's definitely gonna win this time, I'm sure, I guess. Um, Burgundy's here. Annoying. George is also here. Also annoying. Uh, this year's prize is the Battle of the Champion, Alder. Alder's here, too! So, uh... He tried to ask Cynthia out. Uh, props to him for... Shooting his shot. But, uh... Got shot down by the Queen. Ripperonis. Everybody tried. Uh... Yeah, so Dawn had to meet all these annoying characters, and even she, like, was annoyed. <laughs> like, like, yeah! That's, uh, that's Uniball, alright? So, uh, Ash fights random trainer. Because not all the rivals are here. Like, Stefan's not here, Bianca's not here, Luke's not here. But, uh... The annoying ones, aka Georgia and Burgundy, are still as annoying as ever, and they're here too. Ah, uh, does Bug... is Bug... x scissor. Yes, yeah, neutral. Okay. Uh, Trip fights Burgundy, and Superior... His Superior, like, blows everybody away. It one-shots her Darmanitan. Uh, I hate how the anime just... gave it Leer and Solar Beam. Like, Leer lowers physical defense. And then it's like, oh, Solar Beam, that's gonna do massive damage because our defenses got dropped because of Leer. It's like, stop, you guys are morons. You guys are making me mad. <laughs> You're making me angry. So, yeah. Um, Iris actually fights Georgia around one. So, Georgia was finally uh, itching for that fight, you know. But during the one of the episodes before the Junior Cup... Uh, there's a rogue Dragonite, right? This rogue Dragonite, um, super powerful. It knows Flamethrower, Ice Beam, Thunder Punch. Like, it has, like, those three elementals, you know? And, uh, Dragon Rush. And this Dragonite, it caused a blackout mother of cuck. I'm dead. I'm gone. This Dragonite caused a blackout. in the entire town, because uh, it was fighting another Pokemon, it was trying to protect a bunch of P-Dove, and then it broke uh, one of the light electric poles of the power plant. But because this Dragonite was well-known for being aggressive and stuff, people are ready to, to body it, you know? Like, it's weakened, and it's like, now's our chance to strike! Let's get this Dragonite, you know? And uh, Iris is like, oh, Dragonite! There's no such thing as a bad dragon type! I don't know about that, but, uh... <laughs> so, uh... Lots of stuff happens. Iris ends up being isolated with the Dragonite and tries to resonate with it. This Dragonite, this, this, this Dragonite has a personality. It is pissed off. 
Like, you need to actually see the episode. This Dragonite is mad. <laughs> Somebody pissing at cereal like every day of its entire life, and it is angry. So, uh, yeah. And Iris ends up cat. You know, the Dragon Master who had an Axew, an Excadrill, and an Emolga for almost the entire journey. She gets an OP Dragonite, and I hate that. I hate that so much. I mean, good for her that she managed to calm it down, and she, like, they introduce this, like, power that she has, because she's in the Village of Dragons, where she can hear the Pokemon, or, like, look into their memories on what happened, or, I guess, talk to them or something. So that's how she knew about the Dragonite protecting the P-Dove, and... She's like, ah, if you need you guys to go find proof, we'll go find proof. And then they go in the forest with some random camera. Hey, that will work. <laughs> <laughs> the random camera in the woods. That will help Dragonite not get arrested by Officer Jetty. Man. Um, I said, like, at the beginning of Unova, like, uh, Unova makes a lot of parallels kind of like a soft reboot to Gen 1 in the Indigo League, right? I, I see... I see Dragonite as, like, an Ash Charizard moment. Except, uh... Iris skipped the part where she had the raise, like, you know, the pre-evolve. She just got it right off the bat. And was like, look, guys, OP. Dragon's not listening to her. And, uh, it's extra funny in this situation because Iris calls everybody a little kid, but she can't control her Dragonite. But the thing is, her Dragonite's so powerful, like, it was basically fighting, like, a wild Pokemon, and it was winning, getting her Ws. She destroyed Georgia, but Georgia didn't count as an official win, because, um, I'm trying to get a Ice Berry. Georgia didn't count as an official win, because the Dragonite was fighting by itself, which it was. Like, hard-carried Iris. Um, it has a very aggressive fighting style, which I do like. It's just, I don't think Iris deserved it yet. That's all I'm gonna say. But yeah, uh, Ash keeps winning, uh, Trip got his revenge on Silent, uh, Crustal lost to its superior, and, uh, he was looking unstoppable, because Alder wants to, or not Alder, Trip wants to just destroy Alder, because that, when he first met Alder, when, uh, Ash fought him, uh, he felt disgusted, betrayed. Was this the guy that I was after? I'll show you the meaning of strength. That's all he cares about, strength. And he even talked to Cynthia in the hallway, and he's like, I'm going to take you down next after take down Alder. He's, Trip's only there just to take down Alder, you know? Mamoswine versus Dragonite was a fun fight to watch, even though, you know, Iris wasn't in complete control. Uh, it was nice to see Mamoswine fight another, another heavy body. But in the semi-finals, it's Ash versus Iris. And obviously, Iris is going to use her Dragonite. So you made it this far, Ash. Don't think I'm losing to a little kid. Like, shut up. There's no shot at your calm people, little kid, when you embarrass yourself in front of that entire stadium. All right, Dragonite. You, hopefully, you don't multi-scale. Croc Rock evolves in this fight. Dragonite or Croc Rock slash Crocodile versus Dragonite's a good fight. Even though, you know, Iris was in full control. It was a fun fun paced battle. I liked it. Nope, we're fine. GG! Die! <laughs> oh, revenge for the battle club. How did that happen? You lost. That's what happened. Ever heard of losing before? So in the finals is Ash versus Trip. Ash is a stepping stone for Trip here. All he cares about is getting to Alder. All right, let's do it to it. You're the one who made it this far. Let's see if you can even keep up. You're challenged by Cool Trainer Trip, Sir Barrier. Also had Frenzy Plan. <laughs> Uh, Heat Crush! Solar Beam, I should have ran Red Protect. Oh well. Should be fine, though. Yeah, we're fine. Even Frenzy Plant won't take us out. Die! I went for Dragon Tail. So, yeah, we win, except we don't in the anime. Ash put up 
Well, Ash just kept missing the superior. Um, Pig Knight couldn't really land many attacks on it, or any, if memory serves me right. And Superior won! And then, Trip fought Older in the finals. Oh, it's over. I'm not quite in the mood, but why don't we take this instead? I'll take Cross Poison. That's a fantastic move. The Pokemon World Tournament Junior Cup's over. Come again next year. So sad. The, um... For Alder, right? His his ace is Bufalant. And it was Superior versus Bufalant. And, um... Superior got... Skill Deft. Trip got Skill Deft. He, like, he, he felt the way to fight a champion for once. Because, you know, Alder has a lax personality, if you will. Um... So... Trip thought he'd be free, but he was not. Uh, not only that, uh, it had Sap Sipper. So half of... Half of, uh, Trip's move pool wasn't even going to work. Because he used Superior the entire fight. I'm trying to decide who to bring. I'm gonna take everybody out, and then I'll decide from there. I'm trying to decide... I'm gonna make sure everybody's, like, at roughly the same level. He tried to attack Bufalon's weak point, and even though he landed the attack, it didn't do anything, or do much. So, uh, Alder one-shotted him. But yeah, that was, uh, the Junior Cup. Again, it was nice to see Dawn again. All of the rivals in Unova are annoying AF. I hate them all. They just ruined the tur- <laughs> they, they just ruined tournament arcs, bro. They're just so annoying. Uh, Slyly, don't get my revenge! I'm a dragon buster! Ah! Shut up! <laughs> well, luckily, we've seen the last of them. There's no more tournament arc- Oh, that's not true. Some of them are gonna be in the end of the league. But, uh, Burgundy and... And, uh, Georgia will not be. Uh, Diamond and Pheasant... Levani... Bold... I think we bring... Really, Vanny, to be honest. Yeah. This is who we'll bring for now. Also, before the Junior Cup started, there was an exhibition match between an Elite Four member of Unova and its Cynthia, Caitlyn. Um, that's cool to see an Elite Four member, I guess. But, uh,. Cynthia had her beat, but it was a 10 minute oh! It was a 10 minute fight exhibition, even though it was definitely not 10 minutes. But they drawn. But uh yeah, we're gonna end off the episode here. That was a junior cup. Goodbye, Dawn. We will miss you. Oh, uh, hopefully we will see you again in the anime because you were based. But uh yeah, thank you all for watching and sign out.